WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, good afternoon, folks. Larry Pesavento with the afternoon update for TFNN. And, folks, it's Christmas Day everywhere with the exception of the grains. We've had a huge move here in stocks today. The Dow Jones up uh, plus 300, NASDAQ up 110. That hasn't happened much. We got the S&P up 45 or 50. So it's time to head to the stores and buy as many things as you possibly can. All right. I posted a chart here of the NASDAQ, and of course, we're having a big breakout in NASDAQ with tremendous volatility. We're going to see if that will continue. But the one thing that we have to keep into the news is whether this debt ceiling will mean anything or not. And folks, we've had some really good research coming from um, one of the more prestigious research houses that I can't remember, and he is sending me a chart to showing me what happened the last time we had a debt uh, problem and what happened after that and it was it was really quite revealing and I'll have that hopefully by tomorrow uh, but it was quite interesting for him to uh, share this information the good part is we've been watching gold go down and gold came within one dollar of uh, actually two dollars of the exact low that we were looking at which was 1977 it got to 1978. I still think it's going to get to 1977. The bounce today has only been about $12 in the gold market. So I think it's uh, you know moving that direction. The bonds are going down. The euro has been dropping much like we had expected. And, of course, we were able to almost buy our December corn today. We missed it by two cents, but we're hoping that we'll get another chance because it's still down on the day, but has rallied down quite a bit. Uh, from that time. So that, that's a few of the things that uh, we're paying attention here today. So if you have any questions, you can join us on our show, uh, Trade What You See, which is going to be coming up here next. And uh, hopefully, I believe we're going to have uh, Stan Harley as our guest today. Uh, given the recent volatility, there's a 50-50 you know, chance that he might not uh, make it, but we'll still be looking at it. One of the things we want to cover today is Doing something when you're wrong, and that's the key uh, to doing this, folks. So let's uh, keep that in mind, and we'll see you in, in just a few minutes.